Hello and welcome to the channel. So we've been in this house for a couple of years and when we first moved in, I really wanted to embrace the smart home idea and really run with that. So window blinds is one of those really interesting areas where the technology in a smart home can really improve the situation that it was before. So things like having a blind open when you want to get up in the morning is a lovely sort of uh, equivalent to an alarm clock. Yeah, having a natural increase in light, you find yourself naturally waking up. Uh, that's, that's an improvement over just being dark and fumbling about when your alarm clock's beeping and so on. Uh, and of course you can apply that to smart lighting as well. But what you wouldn't want is a blind that's really noisy while that's happening. You know, that would kind of take the edge off the experience. So the technology has got to be the right kind of technology to actually live this dream. And that's where I'm really interested in figuring out if it's possible, if it's there yet, where are, where these things are falling down and where they're winning. So for me, obviously the Apple HomeKit system is always going to be the hub of any smart technology in this house. We're pretty invested in Apple and I don't think that's going to change quickly. And actually the Apple HomeKit system is really amazing. It's great seeing what they're doing with that. You know, this sort of uh, Siri based control of everything in the house, super cool. But with blinds, there doesn't seem to be very many options and the ones that do come with the blind. But if you want to choose a nice blind with a pattern or whatever, you're kind of stuck. So luckily there is an amazing product on the market called Smart Shades by Soma. So the interesting thing with this product is it's not officially certified to work with HomeKit. So the funny thing with these blinds is you can actually pair them to your phone just by proximity. And of course they're right by your window. So technically speaking, somebody could creep up outside your house, pair your blind with their phone from outside and open your blind. So it's just something to bear in mind. And I think that's probably the reason why they haven't managed to get the Apple HomeKit certification, but it does work just fine with HomeKit. You just have to click the button that says you're, you're accepting it's not officially certified. It may not work, blah, blah, blah. It works just fine with HomeKit, really flawless. Uses the full Apple blind kind of profile, you know, and, and sets up and works properly with all the commands. You can just ask Siri to open the blinds to certain percentages or open or close. It just works really nicely. So obviously when you're living with something with a motor in that's doing something every day as part of your life, the noise it makes is really quite important. Uh, and these units are interesting because they operate in two speeds. So they've got a really quiet mode, which is very, very slow and a noisy mode, which is very, very fast, which is brilliant. If you want the blind to open or close quickly, you don't tend to mind about the noise, but in the mornings when it's opening, you're not in a hurry. It doesn't need to suddenly become bright in your bedroom. And in fact, a slow increase of light is preferable. Then it uses its quiet mode and it will just creep up and you, you, yeah, you can just hear it, but it's not loud enough to be intrusive. And we're going to jump in and do a little sound test and I'll compare with some other things that hopefully you'll know how loud they are so that you can get an idea of how loud it is in the room. So with the quiet mode, you actually have to set that up using the Smart Shades app. You can't access the quiet mode operation via HomeKit. So whenever you control the blinds via Siri or HomeKit or an automation, they will operate using the fast mode. So if you set up something in the morning, uh, obviously HomeKit lets you set up a time-based uh, automation or even based on the time the sun rises, for example. But luckily the Smart Shades app also has options to schedule the blinds to open based on sunrise time or sunset time, or obviously normal time of fixed time of day as well. So you can set up those automations using the Smart Shades app and just leave them, they'll just do their thing. And then you can set up your HomeKit stuff on top of that, or just use Siri to do the on-demand adjustments that you want. There's no issue using the Apple HomeKit stuff alongside the Smart Shades automations as well. They call them triggers in, in their app, uh, but obviously in HomeKit language, it's automations. So there's a good use case here. If you set up a, a two triggers, one being the time of day that you definitely don't want the blind to be open after, for example, so say eight o'clock, and then the other being sunset. And whichever comes first is gonna be the one to trigger it. So in the summer, it will go down at eight o'clock. In the winter, it'll go down at what, five or six, uh, because that's when the sun sets and the later one will already be closed when it, it comes along. So it's not a problem. So you can have that interesting combination of triggers to achieve those kinds of nice setups. So let's jump into the sound test. So I'm going to keep the microphone at a fixed level through all of this and I'll include the microphone in the shot so you can see how far away the microphone is from the thing that you're hearing and that'll be the smart shades and then some other devices that you'll have an idea of just so that you can see how loud they are in comparison and the microphone level will be fixed through that so you will get a fair test.
So to actually set these things up, you just mount them on your wall below your blind and you feed your beaded chain through the mechanism and, and stick it all back together. And it's got a battery inside and that's what powers it. And you can either power that with the solar panel that comes with the product, which I can't see the point of, you know, the idea of putting something to take up the space on your window, which you're spending all this effort into making look nice and work nicely. I can't get excited by that. But they charge up with the USB wire, uh, which can come out of a battery bank or anything and the battery lasts an amazing length of time. It's easily well over a month in my experience with daily operation. So, you know, every five, six weeks, I'll plug them in, give them a charge for a few hours. Uh, I'm not sure what the, what the full charge time is. I usually actually just leave it overnight, but I don't think it needs anything like that long to fully charge them up. And then you unplug it and it's all neat and tidy again. I will just mention the cable that you use to charge these up. It's a horrible connector. I wish they would use a better connector. It doesn't look like it's the kind of connector that's designed to transmit power at all. Uh, it's like a headphone connector and it's quite awkward to push up. You're never quite sure if it's gone in far enough. So that's a little bit awkward. It'd be great to see that improved in a future version, but it's not a deal breaker. You can check if an item is charging or not in the app. So, you know, that ambiguity is solvable. It's not, not really a big problem, but it's a little bit annoying. The nice thing about it is it looks really neat and tidy on the wall and of course it integrates with your existing blinds and you can change the blind without changing the unit and there's no trouble there. All you've got to do is feed the beaded chain through the mechanism. So brilliant in that respect that it doesn't force you to change your, your preference over the blinds that you have. One of the biggest downsides though of this mechanism is once it is installed, there is no manual control at all. So if you've got someone who doesn't like using technology coming to stay, um, you can't just say, oh, it's all right, just use them as normal. You do have to tell them how to do it you know, with Siri basically uh, or, or the Smart Shades app. Of course, HomeKit lets you share your home profile with other people using iPhones, so that does make it super easy. They would be able to do it all easily with Siri on their own phone, or if you've got a HomePod, obviously they can just talk to that. But once it's in the mechanism, you can't pull the chain anymore. But that's quite good in some ways because it sort of solves that safety issue of those hanging loop chains. So if you've got anywhere in your house where you've got a blind like behind a kitchen worktop, for example, it can be quite awkward to reach the chains uh, behind the worktop. So this unit would obviously solve that problem. And of course you can set it up to be scheduled and all the rest of it. So you probably don't even need to do any manual operation at all. And it's that kind of thing that really makes this technology uh, sort of, you know, come to life and feel like it's really justifying itself. So the torque of the motor is actually really impressive. So the blind we've got in the bedroom is all, it was actually really stiff to, to pull the chain manually. I don't know, it, was a, it wasn't a very good quality mechanism on the chain uh, with that blind that we particularly bought. And it was, it's really sort of squeaky and stiff, but the motor has no trouble at all taking over and, and pulling the blind up and down. For a small niche product like this, to have a company that supports the product with regular firmware updates is super to see um, and really meaningful updates too. So when I first bought these, there was no slow mode, it was just the fast mode. And it was the future firmware update that brought that slow mode uh, into it, which of course has transformed the product. It's made it into what it really needs to, to be. It needs to have that super quiet slow mode. And it actually, it doesn't just do a slow mode, it starts off in a super slow mode. It kind of creeps up from nothing to go up to its slow mode. So there's no sudden sound at all. So brilliant, they've, they've put that much attention into building this product. So hopefully I haven't missed anything out. I think I've covered most of the points about these blinds. Uh, they're a great product and a great way to get into smart home automation and, and you know very accessible. It's very easy to get started with this. There's no real complexity to setting it up. Uh, a little bit of DIY, drill a hole, stick it in the wall, uh, feed your chain in and off you go kind of thing. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And don't forget, you can share this video with other people who you think might like it too. That really helps the channel. I make films on all kinds of interesting productivity, workflow, technology, design ideas, uh, how to make the most out of the stuff we've got um, in interesting ways. So hopefully you'll hit the subscribe button and join me on that journey and uh, I'll see you in the next one.